Hey, welcome to the shop. So what do you do with a real V8 engine that's so small it can fit in the palm of your hand? Well, I swapped one onto a drill here to make the first cordless drill I've ever seen with eight cylinders, overhead camshaft, dual carburetors that runs on nitro. Let me show you how I did it. Before I can install this engine, I need to assemble it. It came as a kit and it was provided for this video by Sterling Kit. You'll find a link and a discount code for them in the description. When you look at this tiny crankshaft or piston, the cylinder head, it's amazing to see all of the detail that's gone into these machined parts. It really is pretty cool and it was fun to lay everything out and it's going to be a bit of work to get everything put together. Let's go ahead and build it. Well, after getting everything put together, I figured it'd start right up, but I was wrong. The first thing I realized is that the hobby batteries I was trying to use didn't have enough power for the glow plugs and the starter, so I took the battery from my four-year-old's car. Still no luck. The next thing I did was check all the glow plugs and found that one of the ignition modules didn't work. They sent me in a replacement, and that corrected that issue, but it still wouldn't start. Now after sorting through all these things when it still wouldn't start, I'm starting to get pretty discouraged. I've put a lot of time into this so far. Having checked ignition, compression, and timing, I knew it had to be something with fuel. I added a primer bulb and tuned the carburetor. Well, when I heard that thing start for the first time, it sounds so cool. This thing is awesome. Now I gotta figure out how to put it on a drill with all the extra things because it's not just an engine. You have a whole cooling system with a radiator and overflow tank, fuel tank, ignition modules, a start relay, as well as some controls. We better do some design work. I started out by taking some measurements of the basic engine so that I could make a very simple model. Sometimes building a complex CAD model is nice, other times building something very simple will do the job and save a whole lot of time. That's what I did here. Let's build it. run into a little trouble cutting through that metal at the front of the drill, but it turned out to be silver paint. So here's a type of welding you've never seen on the channel before, and I guess there's a first time for everything. It's really kind of satisfying to mix this up and put it in place. I lost a few of the bristles from this brush, so I guess that's going to add some fiber reinforcement and make this whole thing a little bit stronger. Setting it down in place on the base plate was surprisingly satisfying. It's always fun to assemble things that you've designed and see it all fit together. So I have the engine mounted in place. Next I'll add the radiator, the fuel tank, 
overflow tank and a little bit of wiring here. Before turning my attention to a mount for the chuck on the front of the crankshaft, I would normally do this on a lathe, but I'm in between lathes now, so I'll get by with the mill. That big heavy chuck wobbling around there is making me a little bit nervous. So we need a different option and a couple of things that are gonna help. One is reducing the mass of the overall chuck. So I thought back to that cordless drill originally and the chuck on it is much lighter weight. Also bringing that up closer to the flywheel is gonna help quite a bit to reduce some of that vibration. So I'm going to try a different approach and make an adapter for the end of the crankshaft there so that I can just thread the chuck right onto it. You might think a project like this is kind of silly, and you know it is. I grew up working with my dad in his auto repair shop, and engine swaps in cars were kind of a favorite pastime. But sometimes building things and just being creative and making what you want to make, even if it doesn't have a purpose, can be really satisfying. Hey, well, thanks so much for tuning in today. If you are just learning to weld or you want to learn how to weld and aren't sure where to get started, I've put together some affordable online courses that walk you through step-by-step -step through the learning process. I'll link those in the description as well. So thanks again for tuning in. Until next time, weld safe, and we'll see you then.